Well, the Cowboys have been busy. They reportedly reworked Dak's contract to create $4 million in cap space. He is set to enter the final year of his current deal. So we've got Fox NFL analyst Dave Hellman, someone who's been around the Cowboys for many, many years. I know I'm back on speak when I'm here to talk about Dak Prescott. Oh, Dak Prescott. Like, that's how I know it's real. Well, you're in for it. Here we go. This segment, Dave. <laughs> Don't I know it. With an intro like that? Yeah. Come on. Dave, <laughs> tell the truth hey. and shame the devil. Should the Cowboys commit to Dak Prescott beyond this year? Should. Should. Yes, yes, I do I think they should. Good. But here, here's, here's uh, look, a lot of time has passed since how I was you know, here. How do you get through the first five seconds of your <laughs> answer you and already say but? You because you because I think there's a difference. I do think there's a difference because... Look, what happened in January was real. The Cowboys got run off the field by the seventh seed. Dak Prescott did not play well in that game. There's half a dozen reasons why they lost it. But you cannot ignore the role that he played. And y'all know I'll get up here and ignore some stuff if I need to. Mm -hmm. In this case, you can't do it. And do I think Dak Prescott is still a fantastic quarterback? Absolutely. Do I think you can win a Super Bowl with him? Absolutely. It depends on the price. But here, here is why I go to a but, because I think – the conversation has changed in terms of it's, it's not so much about how good is Dak Prescott. For me, it's really what other choice do the Dallas Cowboys have? Mm. They are at a crossroads with a 30-year-old all-pro quarterback. I'm back on speak. I remember you say, well, what do you say? It's hard, say? To, it's do. hard to do. If we say it for Jalen Hurts, I mean, we're, we're, sure. we're going to say it for Dak. I mean, it's hard to do. But if it takes you eight years to get one all-pro, oh, no, 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 I don't care if it takes you 20 years. He's That's an all-pro. All no, 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 no. I'm saying the question was is – and eight years. And he's this, coming off of an all pro. Eight years to get one all pro. Is that hard yeah. to do? I'm just trying to figure I it out. Do it, so does it's 30, to do. <laughs> James, James. I didn't Jones. get an all pro, so I'm going to say it's hard to do. Does, eight years, 10 years. Does the age of 30 still count as your prime when you play quarterback? Yes. I think so too. It so does. it's easy to bet on that. But the, the, the part that goes back to it for me, like I said, okay, the guy played well enough to be all pro, regardless of how legit or not legit you think that is. I think Dak is still one of the 10 or so best quarterbacks in the NFL. And on top of that, the Cowboys don't have a lot of other options. Mm -hmm. They restructured his contract. You brought that up. That brings his cap hit up to $40 million in 2025 if they let him walk away. That's how much the Cowboys would be paying Dak to not be on their team next year. They can't trade him without his say-so, and they can't tag him because he won that last negotiation big time. Mm -hmm. Dak Prescott has all the leverage here. So, yes, I think he's a good quarterback, but more so than that, I think he's easily the Cowboys' best option for at least the next two or three years. Shady? Mm. Should the Cowboys commit to Dak beyond this year? Uh, that's, a, that's a hard question for me. It was easy for Dave. That's pretty hard for me. I just think about this. If it's a yes, what's that number, right? Because... One thing we've seen about with Dak Prescott is he's going to do well in the, in the, in the regular season. Mm -hmm. He's good at that. Regular champion, he's going to give you that. May win the division. He, he's done that. Mm -hmm. We get to the playoffs when it really matters, when the lights are on, number four. Mm -hmm. He always seems to fail. So that leads me to this point. You give him all this money knowing what the results are. So it's an expensive mm -hmm. losing effort at the end. True facts. And then when you look at the team, right, you got to pay Michael Parsons. He going to need his money. And I would pay him now Soon. before paying him later because you know how that check's going to go. Then you got a guy like Zach Martin, who's probably your second best player on offense, depending on how you look at it, maybe one. CeeDee Lamb's another one. So all these guys got to get paid in the main position, the quarterback that y'all keep talking about paying. Every time we get to the, the heat and the fire of this thing and it gets serious, he loses the game for us. Pick, 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 picks with the, with the Niners and San Fran last year. And then this year with this pass, pick, pick, picks at home against Green Bay. So I hear what Dave says is that one thing I've, I've seen with this Dallas Cowboys team, Dak Prescott plays well in the regular season. When he gets to the postseason, he always shows up. You know. And when he show up, James, it ain't good. You know, it's, it's crazy because who should we pay then, like, to be a franchise quarterback? Because... If we're talking about winning Super Bowls, Joy Joy says it all the time. It's one dude getting there consistently and winning a Super Bowl. Matthew Stafford stole one in between there, but Patty Mahomes is the one that's consistently getting there. 
We got other guys like the Jalen Hurts, the Josh Allens, the Lamar Jacksons and all that, the Kirk Cousins who just got paid, Baker Mayfield who just got paid. They ain't getting there like that. Mm -mm. So when it comes to Dak Prescott, the dude is coming off an all-pro year. Runner up to the MVP, however you want to slice in the dice, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. And we sitting here talking about this dude shouldn't get paid. A lot of quarterbacks is not just walking into the Super Bowl or coming in here and just leading their teams to, to playoff victories and all that. Like, Dak Prescott played at a very, very high level last year, whether we like it or not. And we're sitting here paying Baker Mayfield and Kirk Cousins and all these other dudes, and we're talking about not paying Dak Prescott? That's crazy but to me. But it's not about paying Dak Prescott. It's about committing to Dak Prescott. Four because years, 180 committing for one playoff win? And we, we talking about not paying but Dak? Here's, first of all, Dak has been paid. He has. And he's going to get paid again. He has been paid. And when he was up to get paid, I was singing a different tune because Dak should have gotten paid. And Dak should have gotten paid before Ezekiel Elliott. And mm -hmm. had they done that, which is what you're supposed to do, they wouldn't be in this situation right now. Yeah. So because the Cowboys like to do everything the way the Cowboys like to do things, they're in this situation with Dak Prescott right now. But the difference is, James, mm -hmm. when we pay Baker Mayfield, mm -hmm. not we, because I ain't writing none of these checks, yeah. when they pay Baker Mayfield, when they pay Kirk Cousins, who else just got paid? Any of these guys that just got Gino paid. Geno Smith last year. Geno yeah. Smith. I don't talk about those teams like they go into the Super Bowl. <laughs> I think they deserve to get paid. Those guys have earned their money. I'm not writing these checks. Make all of your money. Make it. Get it. Kirk Cousins, like, hats off. No, I, I think no it's incredible that he keeps getting paid, as he should. But I don't talk about those teams like they're going to the Super Bowl either. So it's fine to pay them. Everyone has a salary cap. They have money. They're supposed to pay people. People get paid. They get paid what the market says you get paid. All those things are true. I don't think I'm happy that Dak Prescott played the level he played. I'm happy he got an all pro. I'm happy he had the season he had. But if I'm the Dallas Cowboys and I'm talking, because it's always talking about Super Bowls and Super Bowls, you've been to the NAC championship game. In 29 years, we round it up to 30 because it's easier to say. We, we should just start rounding up because I can't round keep up, track. Okay? It's, it's the point is, all these other teams, you're not betting on the Falcons going to the Super Bowl. You're not betting on the Seahawks going to the Super Bowl. We're not starting those conversations about the – but we're talking about can the Bucks even win their division. We don't even right. know if they're going to win their division. Right. So the difference is, is what the Cowboys talk about doesn't match what they do. All those other teams are not held to Super Bowl expectations. In fact, if they got to the Super Bowl, it would be an incredible success that we would honor with that. But the Cowboys – walk into every single year expecting to be there. And why shouldn't they? They have nine All-Pros. Look at this roster. Come on, man. Quite nine All-Pros, James. And the quarterback is one of them. Yeah. Bro, but... <laughs> but just, I, 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 you right, James. You right, James. Right, James. Right, they got eight other All-Pros. No question. But having nine All-Pros, all right, and you're the quarterback of that team. You got the biggest brand in sports. And every year, you got to do the same thing. Y'all have great moments in the regular season. Y'all smoke all these teams, right? Y'all do so well. Every other year, y'all might win a division. All great things. Right? Because the Falcons, if they did that, were parading them. Baker Mayfield took his playoffs. They were 9 and 8. He had a, he had a good year, or whatever. We praised him, right? You the Cowboys. You got nine all pros. So when you're saying just getting to the playoffs is not enough, winning one game is not enough. Winning no games is not enough. So I'm ready for the Cowboys to be in the Super Bowl because that's where they belong with the talent they have, with the type of team and the type of following. They should be a Super Bowl team. No question. And I'm saying, when you talk about paying this quarterback, if you ask me, should Dak get a paycheck? For sure. Mm -hmm. But when you're talking about getting paid at the highest of the market with the mother dudes and all that, yeah. I need some wins and but, some playoff wins. But at the wins. end of the day, Shady, you know that that ain't how it works. Dak Prescott is going up there with these all-pro stuff. So I need to be paid at an all-pro level. I need to be paid more than Kirk Cousins. I'm all pro. I don't care how you. I don't care how y'all look at it. I don't and, care and if I, I ain't hear you. Of and if I'm Dak, I'm going in with the like same that. thing. I'm walking in there with all the same material you got, no and, and the agent better say all that. What I'm saying is, we need to stop talking about them like they're a Super Bowl contending team. You can't get smoked by the youngest team in yeah. the NFL in the, in the postseason with the with the up and coming quarterback mm -hmm. at home. No doubt. When, you, when, when all this other stuff, when you got eight other all pros, this is the best year of your career. You Like, if I, I'm hearing you. you des he deserves to get paid. He yeah. earned all of it. I just don't need to talk about the Cowboys yeah. like a serious team. You can't have it both ways. We don't consider the Falcons to be a team that's ready to compete for a Super Bowl. They, they've, they've gotten better. 
They're more, they're more serious about competing. They made moves. Love that. They are an ascending team. The, the, these are ascending teams. Yeah. The Cowboys' expectation is Super Bowl, but you're doing the same things that these other no teams doubt. are doing. But like Shady said, though, it's hard not to talk about them of winning a Super Bowl because you have nine all pros. It's not...